Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now, if you couldn't tell by the uh, weird way I'm facing and the lack of headphones, today's video is going to be a different one. As I'm sure many of you know, The Elder Scrolls turns 25 years old this week, and I thought a kind of cool way to celebrate that would be to show you guys some of my old Elder Scrolls art. Now, I was hoping that I would be able to find some more old stuff than I did. Most of this is like a few years old, but uh, I've been into the Elder Scrolls for a very long time, as we know, and I've been into art for a very long time, as I'm sure most of you probably know. So naturally, the two have coincided for quite a while. I know of some art that I did in middle school and if I can find it, I will put it here. I looked. <laughs> I think I found one from middle school, but I know I've been drawing Elder Scrolls themed things since then. But yeah, I don't know. I thought it'd be a cool idea. Hopefully you guys find it interesting too. So part of this video is going to be me showing you physical art, as you can tell right here. I set up my other camera so I could show you actual drawings. And then part of it's gonna be digital, but let's go ahead and get into this because it's 50 million degrees in here and we have a lot to get through. So first I'm gonna show you guys some stuff you may have already seen before. All of this is like three years old at this point, if not a little bit older, but it's stuff that I used to have on my wall in my recording spaces that I've been meaning to put up. But as you can tell by all these posters that are just laying around, I haven't gotten around to it. So some of this may be familiar, so I'm not gonna linger on it too much, and afterwards we'll get into my sketchbook. So I think I've talked about this a long time ago on this channel before, but I used to draw a lot of dumb stuff. I don't know which way I should have this facing. Uh, but around this time, a few years ago, I was trying to find more of a cartoony art style. I don't think it went too well. Yeah, I definitely experimented around a lot. All of these are like from stupid prompts, or at least these two, this next one isn't that I would find on Tumblr that would just be like poses of characters doing stupid things and I enjoy them. They're fun to do. But this next one of Gone Air, what a surprise. You're going to notice like the same three elves reoccurring because they, they're all I draw. There's, there's another one from Tumblr that I think a lot of these I probably posted on Tumblr too. And then look at that. I thought it was funny. If you can see it, it's kind of a tall one. <laughs> this one's one of my favorites. Children. But yeah, you can tell my art style uh, wasn't very consistent. I'd say this one is a little bit closer to how my art style actually is because I tend to stick more to like semi-realism, I guess. And then like I go back to this, which I don't feel like is very authentic. But you know, I was exploring around. I was practicing. That's all that matters. <laughs> this one I think I stole from a meme. Pretty sure I stole this meme. <gasps> oh, cozy elf boys. And Cicero. This one's cute. I like this one a lot. I, I did try to organize these about when, you know, I thought I made them. I don't know if I did it right. Uh, I know this one was one of the last ones I did like that. And then we have my personal favorite. Bam. Anime movie poster. Niloth is the villain, apparently. But yeah, it has a lot of my characters. If you didn't know, like, you may be able to tell who they are. I don't know. But anyways, you guys have probably seen those before, so I didn't want to spend too long on them. But I do have my 2016 sketchbook. Like I said, not, not the oldest, but whenever we get to the digital section, I do have some more older stuff because it was stuff that was posted online. So I was actually able to find it. If I'm able to find any more, like I said, they'll be in here somewhere. But most of them I feel like are probably lost in my old closet at my parents' house, which is probably for the best, you know? But yeah, like I said, I started this sketchbook in March of 2016. And I think at the time, I actually had an art channel. I know at least one of the things in here I had posted onto that art channel, but then I realized I was only really interested in drawing my Elder Scrolls characters. So I kind of stopped doing that channel and started doing this one instead, which I'm very glad because I have a lot of fun with this and I think it's a lot more fitting because all I can think about is my stupid elves. <laughs> Anyways, there's Teldrin. I feel like his design has changed quite a bit. He doesn't look quite so anime. Could you get out of here? Anyways, there's a very tall Gonair, who I also think, yes, was based off of his sim. Because even in the sims, all I play as are my elves. There's a reoccurring theme here. It's a problem. But I shall continue nonetheless. And then there's some Ciceros. I'm actually pretty proud of these Ciceros. I feel like I wasn't, um, you know, forcing my art style to be like super cartoony. Like I said, I think this is actually more so how it is. Oh, some more Gonairs. Yeah, I don't know what all this is here, except for obviously that's a Kirby and there's a dude. 
But there's more Garnier, more Garnier with a flower crown. Is this even an interesting video? Like, I don't know. How do you commentate art? Like, here it is. Oh, look at that. Look at that. There's a Teldrin. And then there's a wholesome Teldrin in Garnier that I think I tried to color in and then remembered how much I hated colored pencils. Oh, and Teldrin and Drelena, who at the time had a different name. It was something stupid. But over here, this is the start of a series of drawings that I did in this sketchbook, kind of following Garnier's story because at the time, or a little bit before this, I was writing his journal. And I think I also probably showed you guys some of these in the first episode of Skyrim. I'm pretty sure I did. Once again, here's like the faux art style. Like, I think this one was a practice for another video I was planning on doing on my old art channel. But you guys will see what I did for the video in a minute. We're, we're getting there. Oh yeah, yeah, there's Gonair and his family. I'm gonna try my best to not get emotional about my stupid elves in this video, but... It's gonna happen. Yeah, like a lot of this is just moments from his story. There's his Netch Moreau. One of my favorite characters. Um, <gasps> oh my god, it's the first drawing I did of Adamo. So Adamo is a character I've had for pretty much as long as I've had gone air, but I didn't work on him until, oh no, no, it was whenever I got my tablet. That's whenever I started working on Adamo. So yeah, that was like three years ago. But I always had him in gone air's story as his mentor. He just didn't have any depth to him. He was just at the time like basic snooty high elf, which now he is not. He is my baby. I love him. Uh, I need to play another um, modded Skyrim series so I can play as him again because he doesn't get enough love on this channel. Oh, we got another Teldrin with his designer eye bags, of course. This one I actually um, did digitally as well, which you guys will see later. It looks it looks much better um, in this form. Oh, well, there's Gonair and Moreau too. Sorry that some of these are sideways, by the way. Oh, oh, a page is ripped. Here's like a little design sheet for Teldrin. He's got the sass, mm-hmm, here's his casual wear. And then there's some emotions, because I was trying to get better at emotions. Still am. Still am. Oh, there's part two of Teldrin's design. Oh, it's my boy. Oh, just look how cute he is. He's cute. He was specifically designed to be adorable. And here's him getting zapped by Gonair. And uh, at the time, Neloth was in the story, but I decided that made no sense and got that out of there. Things are subject to change, you know? Oh, there's my boy again. Oh, and there's my other boy getting slapped by a lizard. Oh, and that's real edgy. That's when Jorlena died. So I guess he has the right to be edgy. Um, I'm edgy about it too, Gonair, me too. Gonair with his new Nord family. Oh, that's real lore unfriendly too. Okay, maybe I just was dumb. So another thing I found while delving into the horrid depths of Tumblr. I don't even know what you call them. It was like a post with a bunch of clothes on them and you like roll and you draw your character in the clothes. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay, I remember this quite clearly. <laughs> so Gonair and Cicero got uh, the perfect shirts. <laughs> oh yeah, and there's Teldrin and Lucian's too. Oh, I started doing Gonair's page, but I never finished. Oh, and then there's him killing a man for uh, hunting a netch because our boy has lost his mind. Oh. There's the little Dova kitty for my intro. Yeah, so the channel was made at this point. It was made. Oh, and then here's my Ashlander character, whose design has definitely changed a lot. She's a lot more ripped now because it fits her. Uh, her name was originally Drelena, because Drelena's name was originally something else. Her name is now Yanabi, which is a lot more, you know, Ashlandery. <laughs> How even long ago was this now? Like two years, maybe? I don't know. Oh, oh, I guess we could tell just by, uh, this right here, though I think I drew these beforehand and then went back and drew on these pages. I can't remember. I don't think this is all in order. But here's the designs for the bottles in my potion making video. <laughs> that was fun. I need to do something like that again. It's been a while. Oh, here's another dumb drawing of my elves, but Christmas themed. I guess this was around Christmas. Like I said, I think I came back and drew this on ah, and in this one. Gonair is yelling at Rolf. Oh yeah, see I was definitely jumping around all over the place at this point because I know this one, I'm pretty sure at least, I hadn't made this channel by this point. Yeah, definitely hadn't made the channel by this point because one of the videos I did on my old one was drawing in a bunch of different art styles and uh, I chose Cicero as my subject because I literally couldn't think about anything else 
but Elder Scrolls. So I claimed this one was my style. I think that's a lie. Once again, like this, this is more my style. That's how my style looks. Not, not that. And then there's him in the Animal Crossing style. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sailor Moon, Adventure Time, Gorillas, Disney, Toon Legend of Zelda, and Gravity Falls. Oh, oh, there's more. Himoto Maru-chan, because I'm a weeb, and Mario. <laughs> that was fun. I should do that again. Oh, this is one of my favorites in the sketchbook. Uh, it's Ganair fighting Ancano. And uh, usually Ancano decides instead of fighting Ganair to punch the wisp, so. Uh, and I think this is about the point where I was drawing more, but I never got around to actually lining any of it. So we're kind of getting towards the end. But this is Ganair and Falkreath for the first time. And then here's Ganair about to go get Dawnbreaker and meeting Reno for the first time, who we haven't met yet in the series. Uh, this probably did still happen. He probably did come across Reno, but we'll come across him again, so it's fine. I don't know what I was trying to draw here, but uh, got some notes. Oh, this was whenever I was planning out Corellian's character. But yeah, at this point I had planned out what I was going to draw, but uh, never got around to it. So that's that. And now we can get into the digital portion, which we'll cover even more. I think it goes back to around middle school, through high school, and up until yesterday. At least yesterday at the time of recording this. I don't know when I'm going to put this up. Sometime before April, hopefully. Right then, so I found all of the drawings I could. They're Elder Scrolls related. I know I have more that need to be like up here, but I could not for the life of me find them. Because I know I had some of Lucian. <laughs> from middle school, of course, because they used to be hanging up on my wall, but I wasn't able to find anything of them, so we're starting here. And this one I do know was in middle school. This was of my Oblivion character at the time, whose name was Zeron, which is now the name of Gonair's dad, who is not my Oblivion character. <laughs> Obviously, I made him look less like a potato than Oblivion characters usually do. So yeah, like, I mostly do digital nowadays, but this one... <laughs> I actually had hanging up in my bedroom forever. I think I did this one whenever I was a freshman. So that was like back, yeah, in 2011, around the time Skyrim came out. But uh, yeah, I said that this was Dionysus, the Greek god. It's actually Lucy and the Chance, just saying. At least that's who I uh, based the appearance off of. So yeah, I just had a massive painting of Lucy and the Chance in my room for years. Now this one, I just found this on my Facebook and I, I just had to. This is Cicero in a weird art style that I doodled while I was at a hotel and left it for the maids. They left a thank you note. <laughs> now this one I did sophomore year and it's a Rayloff. And uh, <laughs> I know I had a couple of others from sophomore year of other Skyrim characters and I know I had one of Gonair and Cicero, like old Gonair and Cicero. And Gonair did not look as good as he does nowadays. But I know I had it hanging on my bedroom door whenever I was a teenager for so long. So like I said, if I can find it, I'll put it on here. But whenever I was digging around for all of these, I could not. But yeah, uh, whenever I was like 15, 16 ish, I think this was definitely inspired by the wrinkliness of everyone in Skyrim. I went really hard on the wrinkles. <laughs> like all the drawings I did were just supremely wrinkly. That, that's all I have to say about that. Like even this one a little bit, I know Cicero has an elf ear. I knew that was incorrect. I just wanted to draw him as an elf because I have a problem. And like Cicero would fit as a little wood elf, you know? This one was also hanging up on my door forever. So now once again, we're getting into a little bit more recent stuff. I wanna say this is probably about four years old, but I'm not really sure. Could be about three again, but this was more facial expression practices uh, of Gone Air. If you couldn't tell by the dumb beard. But uh, this I did with my mouse. This was before I had the tablet. And I wanted to get into digital art and I was like, oh yeah, I can just do it with my mouse. It was torture. It's a lot more fun with the tablet. So yeah, I was like trying to get into digital art. I really wanted to, but I didn't do it so much just because it was so hard. Ah, and then here's another one I did mostly with my mouse. This one took me a while. Like I started with like the first three and then kind of expanded. And then the last one you can actually tell is drawn with my tablet. But this is a height comparison chart. Obviously over here we have the tall boy Adamo. Who I like to imagine is tall even for a high elf. Then we have Teldrin, Ganair, Yanabi. I'm actually mad because Drelena's not in here. Um, this is Drelena Erasure and that's not okay. We have Cicero, Arwen. Some of these characters you probably haven't met yet, like Tarim. Though he's more of a writer's character actually, so is Reno. But I included them because they're part of the stories. 
Then we have Elderil, who I am so excited for you guys to meet. I gotta say. We have Arvella, who is Goner's daughter. Elderil and Terum, by the way, are Adamo's sons. We have young Goner. We have Dan the Skeleton. A long story that. We have little Corellian, Lucian, and Caius, who is Goner's adopted son. But yeah, I have a lot more characters that I probably should add now, like Oz's not on here. But you know, it's handy to have. Now here is whenever I got my graphics tablet. This was the first drawing I did, and it was of the lovely little Adamo. So once again, yeah, this is before I started this channel, but not too far beforehand. And as you can tell with this, I kind of went for a more cartoony style, which uh, was a good choice considering I had just got the graphics tablet and didn't know what I was doing because then I tried the more realistic style and that took me a while to get used to. I was also... I just feel like his face looks really weird because I wasn't used to like, I don't know, just drawing on the graphics tablet. It was just weird. But this one's not super bad. But this one I hate a lot. <laughs> this one's of Teldrin. It doesn't look like Teldrin. And his face is really wonky. I don't know. I'm just not a fan. I did those three really close together. Like I think within the same week just because I was so excited to have the tablet. After that, I tried to learn a little bit more how to use one. I was watching like a lot of speed paints and whatnot at the time and tutorials. And I feel like it helps a lot because the next one I have, at least on my computer, here's the improved version of Teldrin, who I'm sure you have all probably seen because it's the outro card for Morrowind. But to be fair, this one I was working heavily off of screenshots. Like I do this thing whenever I don't have too much time to work on a piece, but I need to draw a character where I'll, I'll like take screenshots and like paint over it just to make it look more like the character, make it look nicer, all that stuff. Cause I could actually probably bring up the original. It's gonna take me a while. <laughs> it's like, I feel like I went from not using references at all with like, these ones, it you can tell, was not using references to like using them a little bit too much. I tried to get a good in between now. Ah, yes, here it is. This was the original screenshot and then I turned it into this, which is actually a really fun thing to do. I don't know, I like painting screenshots. <laughs> then we have another one that I did kind of the same way, but with Adamo. So this is whenever I started branching away from that a little bit. Obviously the background is still a screenshot. I. <laughs> I hate doing backgrounds. I need to get better about that. Usually I'll just go take a screenshot, make it look cool, paint over it a little bit. It looks nice, in my opinion. But yeah, here's Teldrin in his guard days. Then we have Teldrin in his sad days. I'm a little upset about this one because I feel like I contrasted it too much because my graphics tablet is actually very off with its contrast. Every time I finish a piece, I have to put it over on my other monitor and like make sure it all looks okay because it, it never does. So I always have to adjust like the contrast and the saturation afterwards. But uh, like, I'm actually really proud of like his face. Like, I don't know, I'm just, I'm happy with the water and everything. I just, I I'm proud of how it turned out. I feel like his, his clothes look pretty soggy. I don't know, I feel like I should do another like rainy painting because this was fun. Ah, uh, yes. So this one, once again, was inspired by a uh, dumb thing I saw on Tumblr. So this is Goner. <laughs> before he got arrested upon arriving in Skyrim. Being very fascinated <laughs> by the local flora. And you know, just trying to figure it out a little bit. I like drawing dumb things, if you couldn't tell. There's more dumb stuff where that came from, don't you worry. Okay, so here's one I actually haven't finished yet. I need to. But I did go ahead and throw some of my work in progresses in here, just so you guys could see a little bit more of my artistic uh, process. I have done one speed paint. I'm working on another right now that I'll tell you guys in a bit that I post for patrons. Maybe I'll put one up for everyone eventually too. I don't know, are you guys interested in art videos? This one's probably gonna be like three hours long. But this one obviously is of Goner and Cicero. Uh, this is the sketch of it. And then this is where I stopped working on it. But you know, you can kind of tell, I guess how I do things. I, I color under it, which you can kind of tell on Goner here. You can still see the sketch. But then once I have the colors kind of how I want it, I start coloring over it a little bit more. Cicero's face wasn't near completed yet, but you guys get the general idea, I guess, of how I do things. It's generally how, sketch it out, color under it, color over it, do a bunch of details. And then I do weird lighting effects, which is always my favorite part. Ah, and then here we have a redraw of 
this one. This was a year after I got my graphics tablet and I wanted to show my improvements. I was really proud of how much better I had gotten. Like, I feel like I've always been pretty good at like acrylic paints and whatnot, but it took me a little bit to figure out <laughs> how to do nice paintings digitally. But yeah, there's another of Adamo. Ah, and then here we have the one that I'm working on and off with still. I started this a long time ago, but it's of Gonair and Hermaeus Mora. I want to finish it so it can eventually be the outro card for Skyrim. But yeah, this is the sketch of it. And then this is the progress as of like a few weeks ago. I think, I think I've worked on it since I moved in here. <laughs> you can see the process. There's the hand, it's still left uncovered, but his face and his crown and Hermaeus Mora here are more so done. But yeah, there's that one. I'll put up the speed paint on Patreon whenever I'm done. So hopefully I'll uh, finish it soon. This one is one that I originally posted a speed paint of for my lore audiobook series. I wanted to do one for Cicero, so I decided to paint a little Cicero. Ah, now this one is another expressions practice. I've been, well, this one's actually a little bit old now, but I've started again practicing a lot lately. You may have been able to tell by my Twitter, but I've been trying to practice more with like poses and more full body things rather than just faces. Poses are always something I've struggled with. Like if I don't have a reference, like it just looks like garbage, which you should use a reference as an artist anyways, but still. There's Corellians. This one was another screenshot based one because I was trying to hurry because I think I think this was the outro for the last episode of Oblivion. So it was a little bit rushed because I was trying to make sure to have it done by then, but I'm actually really proud of this one. Like, he still has like the doofy Oblivion face, which is good, <laughs> but I really like his hair and like the armor I think also turned out pretty cool. And this one is a sketch of Gonair. I was trying to like brainstorm what I wanted my $10 patron reward to be like, so it's, I decided I would do stuff like this for that one. Just doodled a little Gonair. And then I drew another Gonair, which I'm sure you guys have seen this one too. It's the outro card for Skyrim. This one might, might be my favorite. I, I just, I like this area a lot. And then, oh, I love drawing faces. Like faces have always been my favorite thing to draw ever since I was like, actually probably an elementary school kid, more so in middle school, but there he is, my zappy boy. So yeah, this is another screenshot based one. This is of Teldrin and his firstborn, and then I have where I am at currently. So like, I have the faces pretty much done, but the clothes still need a lot of work. I feel like that's, that's a problem of mine a lot, and I should really stop rambling because I've been recording this for almost an hour now and oh, probably have to cut some of these out. But um, yeah, I like drawing faces so much that I'll do the faces and then just kind of stop. <laughs> I feel like I've always had that problem. Ah, uh, yes. Same children, same. Oh, and there's Aza's. This was another screenshot based one. Uh, this one might also be my favorite. Like, I think the fiery area, I don't know. I, like, it just turned out pretty, pretty decent, I think. Oh yes, I remember this. Okay, so this, this one, and then the two after this, and then another one I'm not gonna show because it wasn't Elder Scrolls related, but I was trying to get four big pieces like, like this done in like three weeks. <laughs> two of them were for patrons and then two of them were outro cards that I wanted to get done because I was changing how I did my outro cards. So I was a little stressed out and uh, every now and then just needed to stop and do something dumb. <laughs> so I decided to draw my characters in Sailor Moon poses. Bonus points if you know who each of them is. <laughs> but yeah, I need to finish the line art on that. I started with Gonair up here and then stopped. Typical. I have so many works in progress. Oh, there's Sorik's outro card. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This one was like in between a screenshot and just a sketch based one because I sketched this one out originally, but I was having issues with like coming up with a design for armor. And it was whenever I was, you know, rushing to get a bunch of things done. So I posed a character that looked like Sorik and used it for the armor bit. And then this one was for one of my patrons. The $30 reward, I do like a painted screenshot, like my old Teldrum painting and whatnot, and like this one, where I just had him send me in a screenshot of his character and I made it look all nice. This one is more of a recent one for sure. I think I did this one like two weeks ago, maybe three by the time I put this up, probably three. But uh, I was working with poses, so I decided to draw some of the couples in my stories. And then this was another pose thing. I drew Gonair and uh, Elderil once again, who you guys don't really get to know very well yet. But uh, I love him a lot. I'm playing him in D&D right now and he's my favorite character to play as. He's a lot of fun. <laughs> and then there we have it. The last uh, 
piece of art for today. This one I drew yesterday, uh, whenever I'm recording this anyways. <clears throat> yes, uh, we have Teldrin. Forgot his earrings, I'm just now realizing. But uh, this was inspired by another stupid thing on Tumblr. Uh, one of my favorite blogs, I guess. It's called Shifty Thrifting, and uh, I have a collection of shirts that I'm going to slowly start drawing my characters in, so look out for that. There'll probably be more in the next week or so, because I have... I have many more where that came from. So yeah, that's where I'm going to go ahead and leave this. I hope it wasn't super boring. I just, I thought it'd be a neat idea for the 25th anniversary. Because I thought about just doing a sappy little video where I express like, you know, how grateful I am to have this just wonderful series in my life. Like I honestly don't think anything has had a greater impact on my life than the Elder Scrolls has. If you couldn't tell, I have kind of based my whole life on it. <laughs> Which is, which is sad. But, oh no, I felt like this maybe would show a little bit more growth. I don't know, it makes sense in my head. Hopefully you guys thought it was interesting. Let me know if you're interested in art videos like this. I don't know what more I would do just beyond like speed paints, which I have kind of reserved for my Patreon, which I'll post too for my channel members. I need to do that with the old speed paint I did. But yeah, art is something I really enjoy and I really only ever draw my Elder Scrolls characters, so. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.